Theme settings is where you set the global settings for your theme. These are things like the colour accents and also settings like the favicon. To access your theme settings, go into themes and then customise. You can then click theme settings at the bottom and you'll see a range of theme settings here on the right. First option is colour. This is where you set the colours for things like button labels and accents which are used throughout the site. You should specify these based on your branding. If you click on it, you can select the colour or you can also use a hex code. I will put a link on how to define a hex code in the description. So if we change this colour here, which is used for the solid button background, let's change it to red and save you can see the background for this button here has changed. The last option is typography. These are the fonts that you will use on your site. You can set fonts for different parts of your site. So here you can set the font for headings and the body. By clicking and when you click change you can then select the fonts you use. If you use standard system fonts they will load faster than the other fonts which are at the bottom here. So if for example we want to change the heading font that is the heading font there. If we click change and we tick serif font you can see that that heading has gone from a sans serif to a serif font. Now if we change the body text, if we change that to a serif font you can see that it's changed the font which is being used in the menu. Styles is where you set the styles for the badges on your site. The first one here is the sale badge and also the sold out badge. In layout there's just one setting, that's the maximum width of the site, so it's either 1200 or 1600 pixels. The Shopify site is a responsive site, it will respond to the size of the device being used, but the maximum width will set the maximum width of the site. So if the, the device is more than 1600 pixels, the maximum width will be 1600 pixels. Unless you have a specific reason to want a smaller maximum width to your site, I'd recommend 1600 pixels. I'd recommend 1600 pixels as this will look better on bigger screens and there's a tendency these days for devices and screens to get larger. Social media is where you set your social media accounts which are used in the footer. Search input determines how your search works. So you can, for example, enable product suggestions. If you enable product suggestions, then when you search, it will show a list of suggested products. The favicon is a piece of branding on your site. It's a little icon that shows at the top of your browser, so that is the favicon for the Shopify site. That is a favicon for another site. This is where the favicon is set. You could either create a favicon using a product like Photoshop, or there are some favicon creators online. Currency format is where the, it shows the currency code in front. So if we look at a product page which has a price, if we unticked currency codes, the GBP disappears. If we tick it back on again, it'll reappear. Checkout is where you customise your checkout. Because the checkout is, is the same across all Shopify stores, the design of the checkout is determined in, by the theme settings and not in the theme itself. So a number of different things that can be edited. You can change in the banner, which is the top. You can set a background image, so that's this area here. You can set a logo, which is I set there. You can change the position of the logo, so it's left, but we could have it as center. There it's moved to the center, and you can also change the size of the logo. You can set an image for the main content area. I've set this to be pink, which is quite obvious. You can set a color for the form fields, which are these fields here. They can either be white or transparent. In the order summary area, again, you can set a background image. You can define the topography, so you can set fonts for the different areas of the site. So Let's change the heading to that font. You can see it's changed the font there. Finally, you can set colours for the different accents on the page. So I've set that to blue here and you can see that where it says cart there, that's blue because that's one of the accents on the page. Also, the button and the return to cart have been set to blue. So if we set the button to red, we can see that turned to red. And if there's any errors, that defines what the colours the errors will be.